So next up with us from the RNC, the RNC Communications Director, Sean Spicer. He's uh, with us as well from South Carolina. It's, uh, it's good to see you, Sean. Any, any you know, sense you, from the party that you're telling either Bush or anybody and Trump to just tone it down with all this stuff or what? Well, I think you've heard myself and Chairman Rice previous talk about the fact that uh, we're big believers in a Reagan's 11th commandment. We'd love to see our candidates focused on talking about their vision, their solutions to America's problems, yeah. and focusing their attacks on Hillary Clinton and the Democrats. But I mean, politics is a context so for that, right? We get that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. But, well. but that doesn't mean that we don't try to, uh, try to continue to prod them in the right direction. Well, speaking of uh, putting people in the right direction, what was the RNC's involvement in the uh, speech that Governor Haley uh, gave the other night in response to the State of the Union? Nothing. Nothing at all? Didn't know about it or or nope. knew about it and just weren't involved no, in the, it? The we, all of the above. We, um, the way that uh, State of the Union speeches work is that the House and Senate uh, Republican leadership or Democratic leadership, depending on who has the White House, switches back and forth in choosing the responder. Um, the RNC has no role whatsoever. Is it ever that way? Because we were talking about it yesterday and a couple of people came on and said, oh, I know that they, you know, behind the scenes, they may say they don't have a role, but they're telling them, you know, don't say this or say that. It's, there's never anything like that with these responses? Nope. I mean, there, I, I saw it, uh, right. the chairman saw it, and the rest of the folks that work at the RNC saw it for the first time when, um, when it went on television. So what would you think? I think she did a great job. Um, I think she represents this party well. I think uh, she is a proven uh, successful governor, um, and she speaks to uh, ways in which our party can uh, can grow and bring more people into it, and that's a really positive message. I think, you know, what she did talk about was that I, I, this idea that we as Republicans, as conservatives, I think frankly have better ideas on how to run this country um, from a conservative ideological uh, ideological way right. uh, that we can reduce the deficit, we can create jobs, we have a better system for health care delivery, and that I think that we can do it with a smile on our face and be proud of the solutions that we have that will move this country forward. I understand that, but you said a moment ago, I think it's interesting, that she represents this party well. Now, she went after Trump. She went, you know, yeah. Everybody knows that. So what does that mean? What do you no, mean no, by she, that? For, no, no. She, but, but what she did is she said that angriest voices shouldn't carry the day. Right. I don't, I think that if people, you know, but, which is true. I don't, I think that we should be talking, I think, that about positive solutions. That, we should be Trump doing it with a smile people, on our face and saying that... We, so that the, the stuff no, 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 that Trump's saying doesn't represent the party well is what I, I guess what I'm getting at. No, no, that, but that's not what she said. She never referenced him. She never said his name. She yeah. talked about how we as Republicans can talk about the solutions that we have, and I think that's true. I think that there's a difference. I think that what Mr. Trump talks about is, or recognizes, rather, is that people in, around this country are mad. They're upset. They are angry that this government is failing them, that it's not giving them the answers, and that it keeps kicking the can down the road on so many solutions. And I think that there's, what, where I think that there's common ground is right. that we have a lot of angry people, we've got a lot of it, and we need positive solutions to tap into that and say we've got a better way. Fair enough, Sean. We've got to run right now, and we appreciate you coming on with us today. Enjoy right. tonight, okay? Uh, Sean Spicer with Thanks, the, the RNC, and uh, we'll all enjoy tonight.